Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you a really useful trick that I used to save me days of work in my previous job. And it's called, or uh, it basically what it does is it finds something and it replaces it with something else. Now we're probably all familiar with finding something and one quick tool and little tip if you don't already know is control F usually in any program gets you this find uh, dialog box of some sort whether you're using Firefox in your browser Google Chrome uh, Internet Explorer or most programs have this control F as kind of their uh, way of finding something now it's no different in Excel you can click control F and you can search for something and say find next or find all and Excel will tell you where these where every instance where that thing that you're searching for it, it takes place on the worksheet okay but in this video I want to actually show you one step further and that is the find and replace okay so there's two ways to do this and if you use it a lot you'll use the shortcut way which is control H or you can go over to the home ribbon and go all the way to the right and click on find and select okay and you can click on replace and you'll get the same dialog box okay so again control H I'll do the shortcut way it's cool to learn the shortcuts especially when you're using this stuff and you want to get better at it so you can also choose find here but replace is right next to it here we want to find something on this worksheet that we're working on and we want to replace it with something else now if you notice that in this table of mine I have many instances of the word watts and I don't want to go through all this and replace it with the word Allen so what I'll do instead is say cell Excel find what well find watts and I have to spell it exactly how it occurs on my worksheet and then I want it to replace with well replace with Allen okay that's easy enough to understand then there's some options here let's click to see what options there are so there uh, you can actually search specific formats okay so there might be watts in there with different formats and you can set that format that I've never actually used that I've actually just found and replaced straight I, I'm sure you can think of a, of a case where format would be uh, have some kind of uh, significance when you're searching for something but usually you're just searching for a word or a name something like that and you want to replace it with another word or another name the other th options here are within well you can say within this sheet and we're in sheet one as you can see you can also say within the entire workbook which would search all the sheets in my workbook and since we only have one sheet really the rest are blank we're just going to keep it to sheet match case in this case this is where you can change the set Excel's sensitivity to capitalization and lowercase and then you can say search by rows or search by columns these are just methods of different methods of searching you still probably get the same exact results and you can also look in formulas so if there's an equals watts it'll also find that okay so at this point we can we have the option of actually actually closing these we can replace all which will instantly do all the work we can replace one at a time we can first find all or we can find each instance but here we're pretty confident in our ways We've done this enough I have that I know it works and I click replace all and we get this little box a message here Excel has completed its search and has made 18 replacements it even tells you how many times it found the word watts and so how many allens it had to put in let's click OK and we can close this find and replace and we can go see that whether it did a good job okay so we see watts everywhere there was watts got turned changed 
to Allen, and there's not one Watts left in our table. Okay, so of course you can take this to a, a little higher level when you searching to search throughout a workbook or to get case sensitive and uh, search within or not within formulas. But that's going to be, you know, uh, spe special case scenarios. This was an introduction to the basic concept and functionality of finding and replacing things inside your workbook. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. Make sure to check out other Excel, Access, PowerPoint, math, statistics, and other computer tricks, tutorial videos. While you're there, subscribe to my channel and click on our sponsors' ads on these videos. That's what keeps these coming to you for free. Till next time, have a great day.